Hello everybody, I'm DiPolo here at the range at Shoot Point Blank in Carmel, Indiana. And today we have something pretty special for you. And if you can see this, I'm hoping the focus is going to work here. But the Sig Sauer P226 X6 from the Master Shop in Germany with the original weight skeleton. Now this is kind of a bookend gun because I did a review earlier on its brother without the skeleton, but also the same X6 with the same weight, and uh, but in 45 ACP. Here we have it in nine millimeter. So I'm not sure if there's another video on YouTube or another gun channel that has had both of them and reviewed both of them. So we're gonna give, give, us, give you some shots. We're about seven yards out with very crappy MagTech 124 grain, nine millimeter. And we're gonna see how we can, how this thing does. Wow. Look at this thing. It's absolutely incredible. And now watch this. I think you can count a little bit better than you can. But that was 10 rounds. Pretty absolutely fun. P226 X6 Skeleton. Unbelievable. Review is next. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody. MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we take a look at something truly special, and this is the Sig Sauer P226 X6 Master Shop. Now, as you may or may not know, the Master Shop in Germany from Sig Sauer is now closed. So whatever came out of the Master Shop, that's it. No more. I cannot tell you how truly special this pistol is. As you saw from the range footage, footage, having trouble with that word today, probably just having trouble speaking in general, but I mean, that was the first time that I shot that pistol and I was pretty much putting five shots within a little bit over a quarter size. Fantastic, it doesn't come with much, it comes with a regular case, it comes with two mags and this pistol has been safety checked and it is unloaded, but the mags, are Medgar, focus catch up, and so it says right here, but they're a very nice mirror polish finish, and it's 17 rounds, very nice, um, and I believe it's 17 plus two actually, but very nice mags, and the gun has been safety checked, it has a snap cap in there right now, and for YouTube manual reviewers, experts, that just means that it's a dead round, it's a, it's a dummy round, in order to, for me to test fire, dry fire this pistol without damaging the, the fire control unit, the hammer, the striker, and everything else. So let me put the, the case aside. It just comes with the two mags. Um, it, you can, it has some spare parts that they include with it, and uh, that's about all you get. So in a prior video, you saw the counterpart to this one. And that would be also the X6, and I'll put a link to the video somewhere in one of these corners. And it was also the same type of a gun, the X6, but it was in 45 ACP. This one is in 9mm. So I'm not sure if there's another gun channel on YouTube that actually has both 
uh, having reviewed both the 9mm and the 45 ACP. I'm sorry, my brain is just like stuck in first gear right now. Um, I want to thank my friend David. This is not my gun, this is his gun, and so was the other X6 and 45 ACP. He's got both of them. And both of them have the original, a couple things that make the, makes this special. One is that it's got the custom shop weight. You can just you can adjust it, but just with two simple screws, you can remove that and just have the gun, or you can have it with his weight. And it is very difficult not only to find the gun, but to have, find it with the original weight. The weight itself costs about $800 if you can find it. They are just truly spectacular. It's a heavy gun. We'll put it on the scale so you can see it. It's got nail grips. Love these grips. Probably my favorite wood grips. It's got the same adjustable trigger as it did in the other one. So you can have adjust not only the pull, you can make it heavier, you can make it lighter, adjust it to your content. You can also slide it forward, slide it back, the trigger shoot, depending on your reach. There's a lot of ways you can adjust this trigger and just make it perfect for you. I can tell you that it's one of the most spectacular triggers that I have tried. I mean, ever. There's a snap cap that's not a real round. And I just want you to take a look at this. There's the wall, and there's nothing. I mean, there's to say that it's butter smooth would be harsh. It is, it just glides. You hit the wall, and there you go. And the reset, there, and it breaks. I mean, it's just. Besides the Cabot or some higher end guns like that, I've never felt a trigger or a reset like this. It's got a very large mag release, texture pretty much everywhere. There you go, then take a look. Ambi safeties. The sights are serrated and blacked out, dovetailed. And this is another point of view of the work that was done to this pistol. This is called the skeleton. So the full name of this is the P226, six hour P226 X6 Master Shop Skeleton. So yeah, big name. But look at the work on this thing. Just absolutely sur superb. Serrated, blacked out, fully adjustable rear sight. If you can see here, the light is helping. It is just the fitting, how everything fits together. You can, as I run my finger up and down, you don't feel any of these joints. It's just perfectly matched. I mean, I just, can't, I cannot tell you in words or through the video how spectacular this pistol is. And on top of that, now that the master shop in Germany is closed, whatever they pumped out, that's it. There's no more. Now lately I've been putting the guns on a rotating table and uh, letting you do like a 360. That's not going to work with this one, not only because of the magwell, it won't fit on the stand, but also it's too heavy actually for the stand that I have. I tried doing it and the gun just tips over. And I don't want anything to happen to this scratch it. Uh, David would not be very happy. And um, with a price on it of a small car, uh, it's not something I want to get into buying from him right now. So there you go. So how heavy is this thing? Because it is pretty much as heavy as it looks. So let's put it on the scale. And it's coming in at 54.8 ounces. Now to give you a contrast there, as the battery's going dead, I think it just died on me. Awesome. Maybe it'll give me another read. Here's the Phoenix Redback. And of course it's unloaded. This one's coming in at 47.3 ounces. And let me tell you, this is not a light gun. But this is away. Let me give you a size comparison. 
So if you if you would, the Phoenix Redback, roughly the size of a full size uh, CZ of a Shadow Shadow Two, that's roughly the size of the Redback. And look at this. Try to do this without scratching either one. So don't worry, David. My finger is in between them. So try to line up the beaver tails. That gives you an idea of the size difference. If I were to line them up muzzle to muzzle, that's the size difference. So it is a very large, very large pistol. So this video is mostly, rather than a full review, is more of a show and tell. Say, wow, what do you think about this? Absolutely spectacular. Since I got this from David, I've literally been sitting at my desk, just as I do other things, just holding it and looking at it. And it is just spectacular. I mean, you guys know by now how much I love the Phoenix Redback. I mean, there's, I'm not taking anything away. And yesterday was a spectacular range day shooting the Phoenix Redback and both of them, the single action only, ultralight, the heavy, all steel, double action, single action, and shooting this P226X6 Master Shop Skeleton. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you today. Please let me know what you think about this pistol. And um, I hope some of you have some, an exper some experience with it because I'd like to hear what you think of it. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram, please stop by and give me a like or follow over there because there you can see what's coming down the pipeline way before it hits YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, God bless.